Hey friends, the temperatures are dropping, it's feeling a bit cold outside. All we want are blankets to feel cozy and to eat a bowl of liquid gold, which we like to call soup. So let's trouble soup some ways to perfect each bowl that you might make for your family. As every soup starts, you'll wanna start with your aromatics. So let's start with our carrots. We're gonna peel them and then use the peels to fortify our broth. Just peel like you normally would. So now you're gonna place these cleaned peels in your pot. So next you have these leafy top parts that you don't normally use. Put them in the pot. These ends that we don't like to use look pretty good to me. Next, we're gonna move on to our leeks. So we're gonna cut off these leeks get very dirty. So we wanna make sure to clean this part before we use it. And you're gonna do the same with this. So I'm just gonna rinse it off real quick. So now that we have beautifully clean leeks, thank you, thank you. We're just gonna chop them up, not too, not fine, not really coarse, just into, into some pieces and then Put them in our pot. These are gonna be for our soup, and now we're just gonna finish the broth. We'll add a bay leaf, some beautiful thyme sprig, and then some garlic. Just gonna smash it, take the peels off, remove the papery skin, and then just put it in your pot. So what we have here are the little leek ends. Now I'm just chopping it into bite-sized pieces because it's gonna be in a soup. If we're making a soup, and we're putting vegetables and we're putting other things in it, we're putting garnishes, we're putting whatever, make sure it fits on a spoon. If you can't lift it up with your spoon, it's not gonna be a fun soup to eat. Moving on to our next one. So let's, let's go with carrot. So slice them about a quarter to a third of an inch thick. You don't want them to be much thicker than that. They can be in half moons if you prefer. For the celery, we're gonna put it on a bias slice because bias is pretty. Do the same thickness as your carrots, so about a quarter to a third of an inch. Veggies are done, so let's go to our chicken. Well, look what we have here. We've got a chicken. Pat her down. We're gonna be using this whole thing. I'm going to remove some of the skin and save it for later. And I know that sounds like, what, you're just gonna save some raw skin and eat it as a snack? That's disgusting. Who are you, Buffalo Bill? No, I'm gonna save it for a step and I'll get to it. Stick around, I'll show you. So I'm gonna take the skin off the breast and I'm using kitchen shears for this. And if you don't have them, your knife works just as well. Let's put her in the pot. In she goes, Whee! I just put the chicken in and now we're gonna add the broth. So I've got about eight cups. I've just topped this off with a little bit more broth, but of course you can use water. And we've turned the heat on. It's gonna come to a boil. And then once it does, we'll reduce the heat to a simmer, cover it, and then cook it until the chicken is nice and tender. We're gonna be using that chicken in the soup. It has come up to a boil. You can see the steam, get yourself a chicken facial. Turn the heat down a bit, let it maintain a slow bubble, slow simmer, and then cover it. You're going to cook this for about 30 to 40 minutes or just until the chicken is cooked. We want to be able to shred it, but we don't want it to be dry. Our goose is cooked. Though she's not really a goose, but she's kind of a goose. I can put my tongs in through the neck. So there's like a hole where the neck is. I can put my tongs through there and then grab with your other pair, cradling it. Oh. Look, you did it. So this guy is so hot. So we're not gonna cover him with plastic wrap yet, but once he has stopped steaming so vigorously, we'll cover him up with plastic wrap and put him aside for shredding later. Next, we're gonna strain this broth into this here pot because I don't know if we'll have enough space in a measuring cup. So we're gonna use this and then we'll use what we need and you can freeze the rest. This is gonna take some muscles and some confidence, but you got this. All right, confidence. I have confidence. You really smell that really comforting chicken smell, like roasting chicken. Chicken smells great. Ooh, now that is liquid gold. You have like a nice little bit of fat in there. It's not perfectly clear, but that's where that's part of the flavor. It's gonna be great. And it's gonna 
add some richness to the soup that we're going to make. Broth is made, broth is strained, chicken is cooked and set aside. Now let's build the rest of the soup. We're gonna put this on like a, a medium heat because we're going to start with, you guessed it, our chicken skin. We wanna make sure our pan is hot enough so that when we put these in, they start to sizzle. Ah, there we go. This step could totally be skipped. You can already see some fat starting to render out. This chicken skin is also gonna create some browned bits at the bottom of our pan, which is gonna build some base flavor for our soup. So this has gone for about eight minutes and you can already see some fond on the bottom. You can see that the skin is even starting to crisp up a little bit. Mmm, it smells so chickeny in a good way. Let's add our vegetables. Increase the heat a little bit. I'm gonna sweat these down. Isn't that pretty? So these vegetables are going to release some of those brown bits from the bottom. So that is gonna go straight into our soup. So we're gonna let that go for five to six minutes just to maybe get a little bit of color on the outside of the veggies, not, not too much, and for the leeks to tenderize a bit. Okay, so we're about where we wanna be with our vegetables. So we'll just quickly add our garlic and our thyme. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. It was about a tablespoon of each. So a tablespoon of garlic is about three cloves. Mm, that garlic and thyme really brighten that up. And now let's add the broth that we made. We've added our broth, we're gonna bring it back to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer to cook the vegetables for about 10 to 15 minutes. Have you ever noticed when you package up your soup to have tomorrow or for lunch the next day or you know, in a week or something, the noodles have soaked up all the broth and so all you have left are wet vegetables and and over bloated noodles. That's not soup, that's not even delicious. So I'm gonna give you this. You're going to keep your pasta separate from your soup, but you're gonna eat them together. So you're gonna put some pasta in your bowl and that way you can like get as much as you want. If you wanna have a lot of pasta, get some. And we're gonna put our chicken in the soup. The chicken can stay there. So we're gonna put her in. Good, mm-hmm. And now you're gonna wanna season your soup. Now I've added some salt already, so I'm just gonna finish her off. You'll need at least a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half for this, at least. Don't be shy. So not only do you season with salt and pepper, but you also season with lemon. You wanna add your acid at the end, because that way it doesn't cook out. The acid, it, it, it keeps things bright. And if you keep simmering it, if you keep, uh, if you boil it again, you'll lose that. So it just adds that little finishing touch. Now, taste it. See where you are. See where you are with your salt, your pepper, your lemon. Mm. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon. When I'm tasting, I say like, oh yeah, this is good, or ooh, this needs more. I'm looking for balance. I want to be able to taste the chicken. I want to be able to taste a little bit of sweetness from the leeks and the carrot. I just want it to taste good, you know? Like when you have a spoonful of it, you want to have another one and then another one and eat a whole bowl. Let's say you oversalted, like, oh, it needs a little bit more, but oh crap, I added too much. What do you do? Well, you can dilute it a little bit more. You made extra broth, just add a little bit more broth to it. If you added too much lemon, you can do the same thing. If you don't have more broth, you can add a little bit of water. It's time for soup. I'm super excited for this. <laughs> so I have my bowl with my noodles. I have my ladle. I have my soup. It's hot, it's steamy, it's ready. Oh, I want some broth in there. We're going to get some really yummy bits of chicken. That looks even better than it smells, honestly, and it smells incredible. Just gonna finish this off with a little bit of fresh parsley. And we are done, yes! Thank you so much for joining me on this soup journey. I am so looking forward to eating this because it looks better than it smells and it smells amazing. 
I hope you learned something. I hope I taught you some new tricks on how to elevate your soup game. And join us next time. We post every week. Bye.